hello and welcome to the course so let's get started so first of all um, this reference is from the AI generated it's most probably from playground.ai so uh, I somehow found this there so you can just generate this your own character with your own prompts from text to image with a, any AI tool or I will share this image reference so you can also use this okay so it's really simple it also has some issues like one side is somehow a hand and the other one seems a bit pencil and also uh, the pose is a bit weird and some having some issues there but we will just a bit change it and add a few things and minus a few things that we need to do so yep we will be doing that and for now let's jump up to blender so with any uh, blender version that we have it's from in my case it's 3.6 but can work so uh, it's not an issue so let's click anywhere and let's get started okay so first of all we have all these objects and also you can see these uh, clicks and buttons that I press here so you can just follow along okay so I'm just holding left click and selecting all and delete button to delete that so we have an empty space and with the middle mouse I can just scroll it like this okay so first of all we need our reference somehow here so we can create our 3d model here and we can just stress that if the things are fine so um, here we have the reference image we can just drag it but the problem is that if we drag it as you can see it's in a bit rotated and not straight so uh, the better way to do it I'm just deleting this again and coming up to the front view with the numpad one so I'm at, at the front view or you can just click on minus Y and you can come up to the front view so that's the basics okay and now let's again uh, pick up the reference and drag it somewhere like there okay and as you can see it's exact in the center so we need to push it back so G Y to just push it back somehow like here and now we are able to do it we are able to start it okay <clears throat> before starting our character we have to make sure that our character is our reference is exactly in center so uh, we don't have any issues as you can see uh, the X line is the floor line we have this great floor so we have to create our character on top of that on top of this line and so first let's G and Z and let's grab it somehow like this if you don't see the floor clear cause it's somehow like fading in the reference we can just add a plane and just see that if this works um, if I just go to the edit mode I can see a clear line and now our reference need a bit sub so it's not 100% like uh, do it really exact but as maximum as it's fixed so it's easy for you to work okay another thing that we need to do is that make sure that it's also in the center vertically so I will just go to the edit mode and control R and add a loop here and let's scale this cube with the S and as you can see it's not in center so let's grab it in center so I think uh, this line is exactly in center so let's just match this one with this one okay and also you would notice that from down it's not exactly in center but um, it's not an issue because we are not exactly going to fall it um, this will be just as a dummy thing as a dummy reference we will manage things by itself because uh, mostly a images don't have the accuracy so yeah I think this kind of um, setting is fine and now we are ready to start um, okay so again um, the main questions comes that from which object can we start 